For as long as I can remember, masturbation has always been seen as a boys only club. Throughout history, a woman's role in sex has been to have babies and please their husbands. To her husband, she must be a companion, a sweetheart, a wife and a mother. I'm sorry, but we're living in the 21st century and it is time for female pleasure to be given the recognition it deserves. For many of us, masturbation comes with a lot of shame. 18% of women would never talk about masturbation even with their friends. Why does this matter? Well, masturbation has a ton of positive benefits. It can lead to better sleep, relieve muscle tension, it even helps with menstrual cramps. So why are we so afraid to talk about it? I'm Sophia, I'm 20 years old and I play rugby for my university. I wanted to start by asking some of my mates what they thought about female pleasure. We're tough on the pitch, but when it comes to talking about sex, we're a little bit shy. Only two of my friends were willing to open up. Do you guys think female pleasure is a taboo in today's society? I think when I speak to people, like especially other women, I'm quite comfortable. But when you speak to maybe the opposite sex, I think sometimes they can be a bit like, oh, should we say that? Should we not yeah. say that? Why do you think that is? Why do you think we get judged to like say, oh, I wanked off yesterday? Like, why do you think that's like a big judgy subject? Sometimes it comes with that label of like, she sleeps around or things like that, or like it's just dirty and yeah. things like that that some people don't agree with. Do you think that female um, masturbation should like be removed as a taboo as a whole like in society? I think it should be on the same level as like male masturbation. You know, yeah. It should just be on the same level. Yeah. Yeah, I do agree. After talking to my mates, there's clearly a lot of stigma attached to being sex positive, which makes it harder for people to embrace it. The more we see and hear about female masturbation, the more normal it becomes. Because it seems that women have trouble communicating about pleasure, I wanted to find different ways we can communicate. This is why I reached out to Sam and Georgia, who are two artists who use dance to explore feminist issues through movement. They've agreed to help me create a dance piece about the female orgasm. A lot of my work now is definitely about social political issues. The most key thing is that the more we talk, the more we share knowledge, the more things become acceptable and normal and easy. I think dance can be a really good tool in almost learning those skills of letting go, um, of just accepting things don't always have to look pretty. Um, sometimes it's more important for it to be real and just to let that experience happen in the moment. I feel like a big thing for us is like getting male validation and I feel like this is kind of like internally this is kind of like a journey that I want to go on of like trying to stop to get validation from men. Why do we have this issue to begin with? Well, male pleasure has always been prioritised during sex, leaving a lot of women feeling unsatisfied. In fact, 95% of straight men regularly orgasm during sex, compared to just 65% of straight women. Nice. I don't know what age I was when I thought, actually, I'm not here for you. I'm here for me and I get to have pleasure too. Mm. I feel like growing up, I went to a Catholic school. I, we had like, I think like three lessons on sex. Female masturbation, I was like, wait, girls can do that? And like, then when I first started like thinking about masturbation and stuff, I was like, okay, so you need to orgasm. And I didn't orgasm for a while. Like, it just didn't happen to me. And I thought that, I genuinely thought there was something wrong with me. Like I was Googling and I was like, if I don't orgasm, then this is terrible. Like, and I feel like it was just like a journey. Like, even if I don't orgasm, it's just like the pleasure of feeling nice. Like doing that, you know, it just feels good. Yeah. One more go. <laughs> It's impossible to talk about masturbation without talking about sex toys. According to research, over half of women have admitted to hiding their sex toys from their partners. I remember when my mum accidentally saw my first sex toy in the box and I was so embarrassed, but what for? 
After all, 65% of women have used a sex toy at least once. So I think it's well past time that we address the rabbit in the room. My company is Sex Toy Candle Co. Which I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, soy wax candles in the form of butt plugs and dildos. Why do you think it's important to have a conversation about sex toys? We're living in a moment where, like, it, women's pleasure is finally being prioritised after a really long time. Mm. Um, and yeah, I, I think this kind of like hopefully helps a little bit to get people talking and kind of make it fun and like yeah. take that taboo. Like obviously people don't generally have their sex toys lying around yeah. their house, whereas this makes it a bit more like palatable. So I think now I could show you how to make one if you're up for that. Oh, 100%, I'm ready for that. Cool. Exciting. Okay, so to start what we need to do is thread the wick through the mould which I'm just going to use to poke through here. Pull that out. There's a misunderstanding when it comes to what makes a woman feel good. A common myth is that penetration is the holy grail of sex. But for a lot of women, penetration doesn't do it for them. 81% of women can't orgasm from penetration alone. And about 37% of women need clitoral stimulation in order to orgasm at all. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. What's like the weirdest conversation you've had with someone or like a person you never thought you'd have the conversation with? <laughs> um, at my mum's, so my mum got married last summer and I went to her hen do. And um, one of her friends was telling me how she's got a rampant rabbit, which I feel <laughs> like a lot of women Mm. my mum's age will have and I was like no babe that is <laughs> not what you need it's not the right thing you need a clit sucker like mm. it's all about the clit you need, <laughs> you need this. that this you would, need that if you think the rampant rabbit changed your life you need this oh my, and did she get it yeah was her life changed and then I saw her again at the wedding and she was like <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 yeah. 10 out of 10 it got a good review I think it's great that Emma's found a way to celebrate something that would otherwise be stashed in a drawer or under a bed. Amazing! Yes! Fantastic first time. Oh, I didn't think I'd be doing this on my Saturdays. Well, I hope you'll take that little guy home and Thank you. put him wherever you choose. We'll go and box him up now. Oh, let's go. We need to start saying what we want. Put simply, if we don't talk about pleasure, it can lead to bad sex. In a study by YouGov, 58% of women have admitted to faking their orgasms. So if we want better sex, we need to understand ourselves first. To help loosen up, Sam has invited me to come along to one of her feminist workshops and I've already been given the heads up that it's going to be a little raucous. Oh, it's good. Get going. Good to get going. I'm yeah. excited. Okay, great. Well, everyone's here, so let's get going. Yeah, let's go. We're not taught to explore our bodies in the same way that men are. I didn't know what a clitoris was until I was 17. I genuinely had no idea. We need to take back ownership of our pleasure, and it starts by understanding and trusting our bodies. Anything that comes out, basically, is all allowed. We can join in with someone, and they can become. We can feel like a chorus. I feel like today what we're doing, it's just felt really empowering and really good to like just be stupid with everyone and be a bit silly. And I feel like just walking into it, I'd kind of be like, what's going on? Why are we just shouting random words? But kind of doing it with everyone and like getting inspired by everyone, it's just made us feel like really connected and really good, like a bunch of women just kind of letting loose, having nothing holding us back. It's been really good, it's really fun. Give yourself a clap. <laughs> really lovely. That was so much fun! That was amazing! We need to use our voices to speak up. We shouldn't settle for shame and pain, even though so many of us do. In fact, 75% of women will experience pain during sex at some point in their lives. Sex and masturbation should be bliss. Education is the key to that. That's why I'm meeting Lucy from Fumble, a sex education charity. So can you just tell me about kind of where it all started, how it started out? Yeah, 
So Bumble is creating a happy, healthy online world of relationships and sex education. And we do that with young people, for young people. Events like this are really important for that awareness raising and start people thinking, people meeting each other and coming up with ideas and working together. That's kind of what we're trying to do at Fumble is take away the shame so then when people have that shame removed they can start to explore these things in a safe, happy, comfortable yeah. way. How do you feel about um, kind of focusing on female masturbation and like pleasure just by yourself like bringing great. yourself pleasure? I feel very good about that. <laughs> I think that's a great great thing for everyone to do. Um, yeah explore yourself, take your time, everybody deserves pleasure. There's some like basic like mantras that I really hold dear and I feel like I want everyone to have pain. There should not be pain in sex and everybody deserves pleasure. And if you start from that standpoint, you can start to explore, you can start to feel safe and secure in those two things and start to like develop a really strong and healthy understanding of your own sexuality. There are so many different things that women are doing to start the conversation about feminism and masturbation. One of the most powerful tools you have is your voice. We can talk, we can play, and we can even dance. Masturbation is completely fine. It's not sinful and it's not shameful. As famed sex educator Betty Dodson says, better orgasms, better world. We're not living in the Stone Age anymore. It's time for the female orgasm to take centre stage. With Sam and Georgia, we spent time discussing how an orgasm feels and our different experiences and how we can express that through movement. If you had told me a week ago that I'd be dancing like this, I think you were having me on. But actually, going into it, I think dance is a really good way to show how good your funny can make you feel. It's freeing, it's sexy and it's fun. <laughs> Being empowered doesn't just come from anything. You have to learn how to have your voice and then use that voice. Us women, we go through the same thing. The society puts us down in the same way. And being all together and having that all together, it just really it made me feel special, it made me feel good. So come on ladies, go buy that clit sucker, live your best life and get your wank on.